Hello and welcome to Off The Beaten Pot, bringing great food back to the great outdoors. A completely different video today, I just thought I'd show you a bit behind the scenes. So um, I'm here in my studio, I'm a headshot photographer by trade, uh, one of my trades. Um, and this is my studio that's based here in Truro. And I just wanted to give you uh, a quick look around it because it's also where I shoot most of my videos at the moment. So that beautiful logo was designed by Bear and Pear and put there by Coleman Signs and Designs. So big shout out to those two. So yeah, uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but um, I just thought I'd go in um, and show you uh, how I work, how I live, how I work. So, a lot of books. And because there isn't enough space for them at home more than anything else. Photo gear, uh, one of the backdrops I'm trying out with, blah blah blah. Photo stuff, photo stuff, photo stuff, but over here is really what I'm interested in showing you. This is what I look at when I'm making videos for you. Obviously, this camera I'm using is on that tripod. Usually, I've got a desk there, which has got some clutter from videos I've been doing, etc. And the backdrop, which is really just a bunch of stuff that you've seen in videos or you haven't seen yet. I just tried to make it look uh, on point and outdoorsy. Um, I'm probably going to be using the studio setup a little less because I'd like to rearrange the studio for my clients and maybe moving some elements of this to the garage I've just built uh, at home. So it'll be uh, much more simple. But while I'm still here, let me show you around. So this is the backdrop that you often see. I have a tube light down there that um, I put a bit of light onto the backdrop and all the stuff that's out of sight. So I've got my old radio, old cameras. I'm really good at killing plants. Um, don't need to tell you what that is. These boxes from Ikea, which I really love for storage. They look really cool. And then there's no, I, I just um, tried to put it, arrange it by um, aesthetics, I suppose. I've got my Kelly kettle and my um, Swiss Army Tranger set up there. And the saw next to that really beautiful enamel kettle, which um, I'm going to use more. Hopefully this summer I'll do more van camping and bigger adventures with the family. Um, stuff I've used in the past, that's the Nomad's Kitchen spice rack thing. I don't really get much use out of that, but um, uh, it's, it's a nice thing to have and remind me. Uh, this, that's really cool. That is outlery portable cutlery. It's a cutlery that you put into a box so you can take it out and about with you wherever you go. I'll do a review. Let me know. Do you, do you want me to do? Do you want me to do a review on this? Let me know in the comments. But basically, it's a tin that has got all the cutlery you need. Spoon, knife, fork, chopsticks, straw, straw cleaner, and the tiny little turtle to put it on when you're putting it together. Kendall mint cake, uh, a Mammard steam engine, a lamp from a boat where I charge my batteries, um, all of my books, hang on, with the light. Just try and hold it with the camera. Ugh. The thing that started it all for me, my Tranja, titanium plate, kettle, one of two, Sphere 123R, got a good video on that, which is a divisive video, let's say. Um, I've got a yacht lamp, Wim, Weems and Plath yacht lamp, which is really a Tilly lamp anyway, but love this thing. My ATAR, um, let me know if you'd like to review on that one. Enamel mugs started with this one, still going strong. Titanium spoon, really cool. And me outdoorsy books. Yes, yeah, so it's a lot of my cookbooks. So I've got really uh, good food for the outdoors adventures. I've done reviews or overviews on that one. Uh, General Hill walking books, books, trailside cookbook, Tranger Moment, lovely book. Um, trailside cookbook, really good book. Wilderness Cookbook, 
my notes. Walking books, walking books, walking books. So yeah, a few books there, and that's really it. My mess of a studio. I just thought I'd show it to you. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing you again soon in an upcoming video of Off the Beaten Pot. And if you're anything like me and can't wait for the next video to come out, then maybe check out uh, the link coming up to the video on an overview of lots of different cookbooks for cooking in the great outdoors. Cheers and gone.